Hey guys, so this is the CF-179 Cephas by Cephir and this is a cargo freighter it's also inspired by a ship on Star Citizen which I think is the Vulture alright, let's keep work, uh, flying around the exterior alright, so obviously this is not made for practicality so just keep that in mind but still, I'm gonna rate the ship on its practicality based on what it's supposed to do alright, so the ship has 13,370 PCU. Let's check this area now. So this is the most defining part of the ship, which is the front here. There's some magnetic plates. So I think this is meant to carry external cargo. Obviously on Space Engineers, this is not the best way to carry external cargo. But still, keep in mind that this ship was made to look like a certain ship and back here is the entrance so there's two entrance to the ship I mean three there's one down there but the sides entrance are mirrored uh, you know how I feel about that I think that's kind of wasteful on PC and the docking port which used to con connectors is also kind of wasteful if I remember correctly that is the creator's standard docking mechanism I just wish it used one connector instead of two alright let's check the internal there's some tables here and armory there's more armory mm. there's the habitation area back here and a window looking outside there's some seating areas I like how they use oh this is good uh, this is what I did as well on my ship I used the retro future armor to make some sort of a fan looking kind of thing which is what they did here alright so I like how they use this passage as well that saves a lot of PCU instead of doors and here's a, a bar and a kitchen and there's access to the cargo containers here and over here is the entrance to the lower level I just wish they don't use doors here because doors use a lot of PCU so there's storage there and more storage here and the survival kit as well as a remote control block here and here's the exit to the lower exit alright Let's go back upstairs now. Oh, by the way, there's some programmable blocks here. Alright, so before we check the bridge, let's see how many cargo containers the ship has because that's the most important part about the ship. So, the ship. Oh, uh, there's not that many cargo containers here. So, in terms of carrying cargo, you don't really have a lot. I mean, you can still carry a lot of stuff, but not in a kind of bulk freighter capacity, which what you would probably expect from a dedicated cargo ship. But again, keep in mind that the ship wasn't made to be practical. Alright, mm, the ship has no refinery and no assembler. It has two large, I mean, two large reactors and four small reactors. It has two large hydrogen tanks and four small hydrogen tanks. It has lots of gyroscopes and some batteries. Actually, before I get into the bridge, let's see the miner that is included with the ship. So this is the small miner that is included with the ship. I think this is meant to be an atmospheric miner. There's no iron engines and stuff. And the drill is downward, so that's pretty interesting. That means it won't be able to mine in space, so just keep that in mind. Oh, here's some of the oxygen tanks. Alright, so here's the bridge. Let's try to fly it now. It has a good forward acceleration. 
and it has a good amount of upward acceleration as well you can see a cargo access port or something there maybe it's to dump materials because you can see a conveyor sorter there and the landing gear of the ship all right so it's supposed to be able to fly in atmosphere and i know this can fly in atmosphere because it has enough thrusters to carry 1.3 kilotons which is the ship's weight in 1g <laughs> all right so the ship doesn't have enough like side thrust to keep it uh, stationary while you're tilting so just keep it in mind or maybe it's because of the small ship that's attached on the back there all right let's see how this flies as i expected this flies really nicely in atmosphere especially with that many gyroscopes you don't have to worry about being able to turn fast oh that's right uh the ship has nine h2 generators which is enough for the amount of fuel tanks that the ship has but the ship doesn't have that many fuel tanks so it can run out of fuel rather quickly so just keep that in mind especially when you fly in atmosphere all right let's crash the ship now I'm gonna try to fall on I'm gonna try to fall on the front actually. Alright. Uh wait. It's still kinda of far away. Alright, here goes. Oof. Hmm. So yeah, this the CF179 Safis by Safir. It's a nice looking ship, obviously and it might not be the most practical but keep in mind that it's not meant to be practical you can find the link in the description below